Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we'll be using module backgrounds to display inline parallax images with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna hover over here where it says pages, click on add new, and then we're gonna give this page a name. So I'm gonna call this parallax images. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder, and then we're gonna build this from scratch. So the so next we need to add our columns. So we're gonna go with four columns here. So before we can start adding all our images, let's start working on uh, the columns themselves. So I'm gonna go into the row settings and go into the very first column, click on design, spacing, and we're gonna give this a padding of 2VW. Now let's go back, go into column two, and in column two, we wanna give this 4VW. It's gonna Add this up to about 4VW. And then next, we are going to skip column three and go straight to column four. And then in here, I'm gonna click on design, spacing, and we're gonna set this to 19VW. So let's close this for now, and then close it one more time. And then over here, we're going to add our text module. So I'm gonna click here, search for my text module and select it. So we need to add some text in here. So I'm just gonna highlight, delete all that and add my text. And this text needs to go in as a heading two. So I'm gonna highlight it, click on paragraph and set this to heading two. Now let's stylize this heading by coming over here to design, heading text, heading two. So the font I'm gonna search for is called EB Garamond. So I'm gonna select that. And we also need to make this all caps. And the color here is going to be black. Now let's set our heading text size. So we're gonna set this to 3.1. VW and for the line height, we're gonna set this to 1.1 EM. So the next stage is to add some padding. So I'm gonna come all the way down here to spacing and let's start here with the top padding of 4VW and on the left padding, we're gonna set this to 1VW and we're gonna do the same for the right padding and then save. Now it's time to add another text module to uh, column one. So I'm gonna search for my text module here, select it, and we are going to need some dummy text in here. So I'm just gonna copy a paragraph here from lorem2 and highlight all this text and paste it in there. And then over here in the, ta in the design tab, we need to customize this text. So I'm gonna go in and change this to EB Garamond. And we're also going to change our text color here by clicking on the color picker. And this is the color that we're gonna use. And then we're also going to set our text size. So to do that, I'm just gonna scroll down here and set our text size to 1VW. Now we're also going to need the line height here, so I'm gonna set this to 1.8, there we go. Now let's go to our spacing. So over here on spacing, we are going to add a bottom padding of 4VW and a right padding of 1.3VW. So that's all we need to do for now, let's save this. Next, we are going to add a button module here. So I'm gonna select it and you wanna make sure that you add a link here. So in my case, I'm just gonna add a blank link but you need to add a link that will direct people to the page that you need. All right, so my text here is gonna be called Get Flowers. Now let's go ahead and customize this button. So I'm gonna click here on Design button and then activate Use Custom Styles for button. So now we have access to start designing this. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is to set my size for my button text and it's gonna be 1VW. My button text color is going to be the gray that we used before. So I'm gonna come, come over here to recent and choose the gray color here. The border width is going to be one pixel. So I'm gonna scroll down here, set my border width and our text here for consistency purposes needs to be the, the EB Garamond. So I'm gonna select that. Now let's add a top margin by coming all the way down here to spacing and our top margin here is going to be 1VW. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna go and save and then we're going to come over here to our second column. So here we need to add a text module. I'm gonna select it. And in this text module, we just need to add a bit of text as well. So I'm gonna go with some of this dummy text from my lorem2.com, paste it in here. Now this also needs to be a heading, but this time this is gonna be heading four. Select that. Now it's time to add our image. So I'm gonna click here on background, click on the third tab, then I'm gonna click on this plus button and we are going to add our image. So I'm gonna select my image, click upload an image. 
So now you can see the image here is in the background. Now, before we move away from this, we also need to add a hover. So I'm gonna click here on this arrow, click on hover. And instead of having this image here, we are going to add a color. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this plus button, and we're gonna add a gradient. So I'm gonna start by adding my first color, and then I'm also gonna add my second color. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I am using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now let's go to our direction. So for our direction here, by default, you can see it's set to 180. We want this at 23 degrees. And then over here where it says place gradient above image, set that to yes. Now let's customize our text. So I'm gonna come over here, click on this brush tool. So now it takes me to heading four. So we're gonna change our font here to EB Garamon and we're going to change our color. This time for our heading text color, we're gonna set this to white. And then for our text size, we're gonna set this to 2.3. VW. Next, we're gonna to go to our spacing because here we need to add our margins and this is gonna be a negative margin. So I'm gonna set this to minus six VW. And our top padding here is going to be 15 VW. And next, our bottom padding is going to be one VW. And then finally, for our left and right padding, it's gonna be 1.5 VW. Now notice that I'm using this chain, so I'm gonna click here, and then now that activates my chain. Now back over here on the content, if we go back to background, and I click here on um, on the desktop, I'm going to change my, my parallax here to CSS. So I'm gonna click here on use parallax, change this to CSS. So the next stage now is to go to our border. So here we are going to add one VW to all the corners. So if you want this to be applied to all the corners, make sure this chain is activated before you add your values in there. And then next, we're also going to add our border width and our border width here is going to be 0.3 VW and the color is going to be white. So I know I've used white before, so I'm gonna click here on recent and choose my color. So the next stage is to add our transform effect. So here I need to uh, scale on hover. So I'm gonna click on this arrow here, click on hover, and I'm gonna set this to 102%. So this is what's gonna happen when I hover on this. So that's all we need to do here. I'm gonna save, and then I'm going to add another text module. So I'm gonna search here for my text module and select it. I'm gonna add my dummy text in here, set this to heading four, click on background. Then I'm gonna add my image. So I'm gonna select my image, click on upload image. Now, before we continue, I'm just gonna come over here on use parallax effect and I am going to choose CSS. Now, as we did before, we're going to add our gradient. So I'm gonna click on the gradient tab, click on the plus button, and I'm gonna start adding all my colors. And just a quick reminder, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So I'm gonna um, add my second color, and then I'm gonna set my gradient direction to 23, and then we need to place this above the image. <coughs> So with this all set, let's head over here to the design tab and stylize our heading text. So I'm gonna click here on this little brush tool. And the very first thing I'm gonna do is to set my, my font. And then I'm gonna make it, <clears throat> I'm gonna set my size. I'm gonna change my color by coming over here to recent because this needs to be white as well. Now let's add our padding by clicking here on spacing. So our top padding here is going to be 15 VW. And our bottom padding, as before, is gonna be one VW. Next, we're going to add our left and right, and our left and right here is going to be 1.5 VW. So I've activated the chain so I can add the value to both sides. All right, so now that we have that in place, the next stage is to add our rounded corners. So I'm gonna come over here to border, making sure my chain is activated. I'm gonna click here on one. In fact, this needs to be one VW. There we go, okay. So make sure it's all one VW on all sides. And we also need a border width and we're gonna set this to 0.3 and let's set this also to white. Now, as we did before, I'm gonna come over here to transform, scale, but this needs to be on hover. So making sure hover is selected, I'm gonna set this to 102. So now we're going to save. So the next stage now is to duplicate these two and add them onto this column. So do that by just clicking this duplicate button and I'm gonna do it one more time. Then I'm gonna drag this over here to the third column. 
So now that we've duplicated these, all you have to do now is to change the text in this column. So I'm just gonna copy some text from here. So I'm gonna go with that. So notice that I'm doing inline editing here. So I'm just gonna go in and replace this. And I'm also gonna do the same over here. So I'm gonna look for my text and paste it in here. There we go. So now with my text all pasted in here, the next thing is to go in and change the colors. So to change the colors, you wanna go in here into the model settings and then go to background and make sure you're on hover. So while with hover selected, if you come over here, you can then add your background colors by just adding your first color and your second color over here. Okay, so once that is done, we need to now go on to column four. So here we need to add a text module. So I'm gonna se select it and we're gonna add some text in there. So I'm just gonna copy some text to add into this. Right, so our text here needs to be a heading and this time it's gonna be heading three. So I'm gonna highlight it, click on this drop down, select heading three. Next, we're gonna customize this text by coming over here to design, heading text, heading three. <coughs> So our font here is going to be EB Garamond, all caps, and the color is going to be black. Now let's set our text size. So here we're gonna change this to 3VW. And for our line height, we're gonna set this to 1EM. Now it's time to add a second text module. So I'm gonna save this, click on this plus button, search for it and select it. Let's go over here to our design tab, click on text. And the first thing we're gonna do is to change this to EB Garamond and we're gonna set our size here. And we're also gonna change the color for our line height. We're gonna set this to 1.8. Now let's adjust our padding by scrolling all the way, all the way down here to spacing and for our padding, I'm gonna set this to 0.9, and then my right padding is going to be 2.2 VW. So for our button now, all, I, all we need to do is to duplicate this button here and drag it all the way just below column four. Right, so we've got our button now all set. Pretty much this is our final design. I'm gonna publish this, and then we're going to do a quick Preview. So we're gonna exit the Visual Builder, and now you can see our parallax is working. And also, if I hover over these, you can see our colors with our gradients. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.